Okay, so okay, let's start yeah, on the um, uh, mini symposium of the LS today. And so today we invited uh, three prominent speakers in KO Insight, uh, Pro, uh, Dr. Morimoto, and also uh, uh, Dr. Uh, Marco Terencio uh, from the OIST in Okinawa, and uh, uh, Professor from Cleveland from UC San Diego. Okay, so uh, this week we have uh, the annual, society, uh, annual meeting of the uh, Japanese Society of Neurology. And so uh, we have, I, I will organize uh, a symposium on the gene therapy and so uh, related uh, therapeutic interventions. And so we invited so Don. And so that's all oh, it's uh, good, good. By taking uh, advantage of this opportunity, we invited him and he kindly accepted our okay, invitations. Okay, so let me okay, uh, start the first speakers. The first speaker is uh, Dr. Satoru Morimoto uh, from Keio University School of Medicine. It's uh, uh, the project assistant, assistant professors. Okay, so uh, actually he has uh, the background as a neurologist and so he graduated Mie uh, University School of Medicine. And so he is uh, a neuro, uh, well, okay, uh, the trained neurologist and also uh, he joined my laboratory about 10, 10 years ago and ran so IPS technology and molecular biology. And so he's going to publish very, okay, a uh, very big paper this week, the Friday. So he talked about some of the, the results and also the historical work. So, okay, so uh, Satoru will talk about mechanism and therapeutic action of renal in spinal motor neuron derived from the AIDS patient. Okay, I'm going to go please. Thank you for the introduction, Joseph Okano. My name is Morimoto, and I belong to the Okano Laboratory. Uh, today, I'm very nervous uh, to speak in front of Professor Cleveland and uh, my, a big friend of Professor Okano and the world leaders in ARS research. So we, the ARS team at the Okano Laboratory, and myself as a neurologist, are uh, continuing our research uh, every day in order to light the way for the future of ARS patients. Today, I'd like to present the results of the IPS drug discovery and clinical trials and conducted under the leadership of Professor Okano. So no, I see to disclosure. <clears throat> uh, first of all, uh, I'd like to mention the uh, Okano Labs research policy. From basic to uh, clinical, mean that world class original basic research at the highest level in our solution to a previously untreatable and intractable diseases. Based on this policy, uh, the IPS drug discovery was born. And from right to common, I mean, the uh, conquering uh, rare and incurable disease is a touchstone for conquering all diseases. Based on this policy, we are now promoting research targeting sporadic patients. Finally, from clinical to basic, uh, means uh, fi the finding from the translational research are further developed through basic research again. Various information and biological samples from clinical trials will be used to push the original basic uh, research to a higher level. Uh, we are currently working towards overcoming ALS. As many of the audience may know, ALS is an interactable disease in English and a numb bio in Japanese that uh, selectively damages motor neurons in the cerebellum and spinal cord, leading to respiratory failure or death within three to four years. Old, years. <clears throat> the term numb bio is a uh, unique to Japan and is defined as a disease with an unknown cause, an undetermined treatment plan, and a high risk of residual disability, a disease with a chronic cause and a heavy burden and a family and a heavy mental burden, not only financially, but also because of the manpower required for care and as a task for people. ARS is characterized by the following features. Uh, the very, very uh, obvious uh, figures, and uh, there are around 10,000 patients in Japan. And upper and lower motor neurons are selectively affected. 
and LS has a very large number of players related to person mechanism as Professor Griffin reported. It is said to be complicated by some form of cognitive dysfunction in about 5% of ALS patients placing it on the same spectrum as frontotemporal dementia. In addition, from 5 to 10% of ALS patients are familiar and the remaining around 90% are sporadic. <clears throat> and we have established IPSR from numerous patients with neurological diseases to study pathology and the drug discovery. Human IPSR models have enabled the uh, modeling of sporadic disease, which was previously difficult in animal and genetically engineered models and have the in our last uh, study 9% of ARS patients directly. And uh, Dr. Fujimori, a researcher in our laboratory, developed a highly efficient method for in, 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 inducing into lower motor neurons from human investors and conducted a drug screening using an ALS motor neuron model in an FDA approved library of existing drugs. As a result, uh, Robin Low hydrochloride, the dopamine D2 agonist, uh, which is already widely used worldwide as a treatment for Parkinson's disease, was identified as a drug candidate for ALS. It has the highest efficacy against ALS pathology and uh, crosses the uh, blood brain barrier. The studies using IPSR models have shown that Rubin law has anti-LS effects via two main pathways. One is a GPCR, and this is a receptor-dependent action, uh, which suppresses the hyper-excitation of motor neurons. On the other hand, uh, uh, these receptor-independent or partially these dependent uh, actions, uh, antioxi antioxidant stress, uh, mitochondrial protection, Inhibition of abnormal accumulation of ARS related proteins such as the TDP43 and FUS and anti apoptotic effects. Thus, uh, it is suggested that Ropinol may exert its therapeutic effect on ARS through a multi phase mechanism. And so, how uh, we plan and investigator initiated clinical trial as a translational research to uh, sublimate this IPSR drug discovery result to clinical application. In parallel, uh, we decided to conduct a reverse translational research using the information obtained from the clinical trial and the sample containing IPSRs. Specifically, we uh, positioned uh, the study as a dual trial and a planned a clinical trial to exploring the uh, safety and efficacy of Robin law in patients. In addition, uh, based on the hypothesis that the drug could be linked to personalized medicine by using a participant IPS cells to determine and predict the efficacy of the drug. First of all, uh, a brief overview and the result of KOALS clinical trial, a translational research project will be presented. The trial was conducted as a single center, placebo control and double blind and randomized phase one, two, a study with a core group of members from Department of Neurology and Physiology in Keio University listed here. And uh, the principal investigator was Professor Nakahara of Department of Neurology and Keio University Hospital. This phase one to a trial aimed to explore the safety, uh, travelability, and efficacy of ribinol hydrochloride in reducing disease progression in ALS patients treated with oral ribinol hydrochloride. The trial includes 24 weeks double blind phase and a 24 weeks open label extension phase. In the, in the open label extension phase, uh, all participants took the active drug for ethical reasons. 20 sporadic patients with ARS uh, were planned to be allocated to a five, 15 patient active drug group and a five patient placebo group. 
In terms of the progress of the trial, uh, 29 patients were screened, and 21 patients with mild disease of similar severity and the rate of progression was selected. One patient met the drop out criteria, and the 20 patients were given medication. 20 patients uh, were divided by dynamic allocation into 13 active drug and seven placebo patients. A small number of patients dropped out of the study during the open label extension period due to the strong impact of COVID-19 pandemic and, uh, and uh, in the inability to attend hospital. But the study was completed within the original planned uh, timeframe. And moving on to the uh, description of the trial results, with regard to the primary endpoint of safety and tolerability, the adverse events observed in the study were known and did not differ significantly between the active drug group and the placebo group. So uh, Ropinol has been shown to be safe and trialable for ALS patients. Next, with regard to the secondary endpoint of efficacy, I present the result of the ALS FRSR, which is an evaluation measure uh, invariably uh, used in a clinical trial for ALS and of the daily active level as a measure of locomotion. The ALS FRSR uh, comprise four domains, verbal symptoms and uh, gross motor and fine motor and respiratory symptoms, and is a comprehensive symptom indicator of ALS. As shown in the result, uh, over the entire one year treatment period, Rupinol significantly uh, reduced the decline in general function and activity in ALS patients. Furthermore, over the, over the entire one, one year treatment period, Rupinol significantly prolonged the time to disease progression and respiratory failure in ALS patients. Surprisingly, for certain pathological developments or deaths, taking ropin load was shown to have the potential to delay the uh, disease progression by as much as seven months over the course of the one year treatment period. Here, one question arises regarding the result of the efficacy. Although the improvement in the overall function assessment of ALS was observed during the open label extension period, the placebo group also took uh, ropin roll internally. Therefore, a comparison with a group of patients not taking ropin roll throughout the year is necessary. So uh, therefore we used pooled resource open access air clinical trial database product for comparison with the European role and naive loop. Product is a large uh, international clinical trial related registry of the ALS patient information. The registry includes uh, over 11,600 uh, 11, the identified clinical patient records Receive and treatment group data from 29 phase two, three uh, clinical trials. And demographics, examination and medical history and family history and other data. And more than 10 million longitudinally corrected data points. Very, very big uh, registry data. As a result of case selection, uh, the ALS FRS trends were compared between 176 ALS cases in the registry who were not on roping roll and whose symptoms and the rate of progression matched those of the active drug group uh, in the ROPAS trial and the active drug group in the ROPAS trial. So results show that similar to the result of the ROPAS trial, uh, Robin Roll also prevented a reduction in ALS FRSR. This suggests that large patient registry data in ALS trials was useful to validate the effectiveness in clinical trial. 
Next, we try to explore CSF surrogate markers related with the disease progression or therapeutic effect. So very interestingly, uh, we found that a neurofilament, neurofilament like chain or lipid peroxide in CSF uh, correlates uh, with disease progression of ALS. Lipid peroxide, uh, lipid peroxide has been reported in the past that Robin Low lowers uh, lipid peroxide. I showed that clinically, a uh, lipid peroxide in CSF can be used as a surrogate marker to express disease progression. So, <laughs> it's okay. <clears throat> so uh, I, I now move on to the basic part of the reverse translational research using IPS search uh, of the participants. In the robust trial, we established IPS cells from blood cells of all participants. We then used all, with our newly uh, developed rapid induction method to generate spinal cord motor neurons from IPS cells and investigated the effects of ropin law, primarily uh, targeting neurite langers. Furthermore, uh, we explored the relationship between the in vitro motor neuron phenotype and the clinical phenotype of the drug patients. The result first showed that uh, the average maximum neural length of participant IPS derived motor neurons was considerably shorter than that of heresy controls. Then, uh, treatment of participant motor neurons with 10 micromolar robin low hydrochloride improved the average maximum neurolite ranges by an uh, average of 1.5 fold. Moreover, uh, LDH leakage, uh, a cytotoxic, cytotoxic indicator, was also found to be significantly improved by robin low treatment. Next, the uh, differential responsiveness of ropin load to change in neural ranges in individual participant motor neurons was examined in detail. To begin with, uh, 17 out of 20, uh, about 85% patient treated with ropin load showed improvement in neural outgrowth. Processing analysis of the difference of improvement in neural language following open road treatment in 20 participants revealed very interestingly to major clusters. We defined the group with significant uh, improvement as the optimal responder in vitro group and the uh, group with a smaller improvement as a, a suboptimal responder uh, in vitro group. But more, when the highest efforts are trends of the subjects were divided into an optimal responder in vitro group and a suboptimal responder in vitro group, it was surprising to find that the suboptimal responder in vitro group showed uh, a better clinical response in the optimal responder in vitro group compared to the suboptimal responder in vitro group. In other words, uh, it is clear that the uh, participant drive IPS cell determine the participant's own response to the drug. So, uh, our analysis over time uh, was performed to explore the mechanism of action of ropin roll on ARS motor neurons. Our RNA was corrected at eight points for ropin roll untreated group and at five points for the treated group. It was hypothesized that uh, the use of time series analyzed would make the changes caused by ropin load more distinct compared to the fixed point comparisons. There were 197 messenger RNA whose ex expression varied over time and were divided into three groups based on cluster analysis. Cluster two and cluster three were groups of genes that decreased or increased over time and showed no changes with ropin roll treatment. In contrast, messenger RNA groups belonging to cluster one 
but clearly suppressed by robinol treatment. Geopathic analysis uh, of these genes groups showed that they were strongly involved in cholesterol biosynthesis and neurons. The pathways of metabolites and enzymes that uh, recharge cholesterol biosynthesis are shown here. The arrows in blue indicate a group of enzymes whose messenger RNA expression is suppressed by robin road treatment, indicating that uh, cholesterol biosynthesis pathway is very extensively uh, suppressed. Therefore, uh, it is suggested that Rubinol may exert its anti ars efficacy uh, by inhibiting cholesterol biosynthesis in neurons. So having identified such extensive synthetic and systematic MS messenger RNA expression and repression, we considered the involvement of more upstream molecule and carried out transcription factor analysis. As a result, uh, transcription factor analysis suggested that the inhibitory effect of roping roll on cholesterol biosynthesis might be mediated by uh, SREBF2, a master regulator of cholesterol synthesis. Furthermore, uh, G expression of a group of enzymes responsible for cholesterol biosynthesis was increased in the motor neurons of ARS patients compared to healthy controls. In addition, interestingly, uh, the better the response to roping roll, uh, the higher the expression of cholesterol biosynthetic enzymes. Finally, uh, we investigated the effects of direct upstream inhibition of the cholesterol synthesis pathway uh, on ARS motor neurons. Specifically, uh, the ARS motor neurons were treated with uh, phatostatin. Phatostatin is uh, an activation inhibitor of SREBF2, and uh, adrobostatin and uh, pitabastatin, and they are inhibitors of the HMG CoA reductase. Interestingly, so neurite length regression was suppressed similar to roping row treatment, obviously. Okay, in summary, uh, for the translator research part, IPSERTs were, uh, the robust trial suggested that robin door is a safe and effective treatment for ARS patients. During the entire one year treatment period, robin row significantly reduced the decline in general function and activity in ARS patients. Over the entire one year uh, treatment period, dopamine lower significantly prolonged the time to disease progression and respiratory failure in ARS patients. Long term dosing is expected to be necessary to demonstrate the efficacy of the dopamine lower in ARS patients. And by using medical big data, uh, the robustness of the result obtained in the trial could be verified. And biomarkers and surrogate markers candidates were identified to assess drug response and the drug efficacy. Uh, and the four reverse translational research part, IPS cells were established from all participants and uh, in, in, induced to uh, uh, determine the, the differentiation in the spinal motor neurons. The motor neuron derived from the participants showed the neurite fragile, fragility and the European law improved neurite shortening. So the participant was stratified into optimal responder and the suboptimal responder groups according to the amount of effect of European law of ARS motor neurons. The effect of European law on participants IPSL derived motor neurons are corrected with uh, uh, correlated with uh, effect on the participants' own area symptoms. And the uh, inhibition of cholesterol biosynthesis was uh, shown to be involved in the anti ARS effect of robin load. 
Okay, so how we would like to thank the patients, uh, their families, and the patients, and the many people who cooperated with us in this trial. And I'd like to give you a little publicity about uh, K-University and uh, Ready4 uh, companies are currently working together on a grading, crowdfunding initiative to further accelerate areas of research. So please cooperation. Thank you for your attention. <clears throat> That's all.